And as we cover the entertainment, the events, the things to do in our area, our sister stations across the south are doing the same, and many of these destinations are worth a little road trip. Here's a piece of our chat with Emily Zuhowski from Palmetto Life Charleston. Uh, so Emily, what's coming up in Charleston? What's happening where you are? Margaret, it's such a great time to visit Charleston right now. The weather's finally cooling down just a little bit. Not not as much as I would yeah. like probably at this point, but we still have some great events um, in the fall here in Charleston. First up, um, I know festivals seem like they're happening every single weekend here in Charleston. Moja Arts Festival, this is one that's been happening for 40 years. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. It's a celebration of African-American and Caribbean culture. So it's an 11-day festival. So there's so much going on here. So whether you like dance, you like classical music, poetry, jazz, visual arts, or you're just a foodie like me and you want to indulge in lots of good food, this is going to be the festival for you. Um, this is happening from September 20th. 26 through October 6th, so lots of opportunities to head out to Moja and take advantage of all of the American, um, uh, all of the amazing um, Black culture that we have in Charleston. So here in Charleston, we're all about the food. I'm sure if you've ever visited here, you know that you do not leave hungry. Um, so it makes sense why Food and Wine Magazine, Southern Living, Travel and Leisure, they chose us in Charleston to host their next Food and Wine Classic. So you may have heard of this before. They call it um, the premier three-day um, wine and food festival on the East Coast. So this is really exciting for us. This is brand new. This is kicking off this Friday. They um, are saying... 50 plus celebrity chef demos. You got wine seminars, panels. You can go around and sample all different, you know, luxurious bites and sips from around town. So listen to who's going to be there because this might make you want to go. Tyler Florence, Al Roker, Tamron Hall, Andrew Zimmer. And those are just a few of the many nice. names that are going to be there. So if you are into celebrity chefs, you love cooking shows, you want to, you know, take advantage of something like this, this is the weekend to visit Charleston, um, especially if you love fine wine and fine dining like I do. Awesome. Keep rolling. I know you've got a list of things. Okay, so this is one that you guys over in Greenville, you guys just experienced this. Lewis Barbecue, I know that that is my favorite barbecue place here in Charleston. Yes. I know that there's always a debate about the best barbecue, but I love Lewis. And Charleston's about to get a little bit spicy. So if you guys attended the Lewis Hatch Chili Roast a few weeks ago in Greenville and you want to go back for round two, you do have a chance. Um, over two dozen Charleston restaurants are putting together chili-laced sips and bites for the seventh annual. Lewis Hatch Chili Roast, which is going to be on October 6th. I think chili margaritas, chili nice. beer, lots of chili bites. Sounds absolutely delicious. And the best part, it's all free. They're actually raising money for charity, um, a local nonprofit, the Friends of Joseph Floyd Manor, which is um, a great organization here in Charleston. So if you want to go out, you want to eat, you want to drink, you want to try something a little new, maybe you haven't tried, you know, a chili laced ice cream before, this is going to be um, something to go to here in the Charleston area. Okay, so it's not that cold here in Charleston. We don't really have that fall breeze in the air yet, but it doesn't mean we can't, you know, take advantage of the fall season here in town. And did you know that Charleston is home to one of the largest fall festivals in the state, the Boone Hall Pumpkin Patch? But it's not just about pumpkins. You would think that because of the name, right? Right. Well, they've got a corn maze actually endorsed by country superstar Luke Bryan. How cool is that? You actually see him with the guitar in the corn maze, which is absolutely amazing. If you look at it from above, it's mm -hmm. it's so cool. So they also have circus performers, pig races, and just so much more, so much good stuff for the kids. If you want to bring the kids to, you know, a fall festival, this is going to be something for them. But if fall to you is more about the screams, this isn't really up my alley at all. But Boone Hall is also home to South Carolina's largest haunted event. So I went last year, believe me, it is not for the faint of heart. Um, Boone Hall Fright Nights. This year, they've got three terrifying attractions ward eight which is a forgotten asylum phobia where you have to face your fears and then fall out which is a haunted hayride deep into the woods i don't even want to know where that goes um, but if you like the scary stuff i'm telling you you have to go to boone hall fright night so you can do you know the pumpkin patch stuff during the day you know stuff with the mm -hmm. for the whole family during the day at night you can go to fright nights and you can have the whole fall experience in one day or one weekend um, right here in mount pleasant so this is happening all fall through um, Halloween, so you have plenty of chances to head out there. And it's such a great time of year here in Charleston. You're braver than I am.
Yeah, it. I did not go on purpose. I went for a segment and so that viewers could see me screaming. So yeah. that was that was really fun. For the good of the show. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that's always what we do, right? Yeah.